Well, everyone, happy Christmas. I've been chosen to um, read or to talk about the letters from 1933 and 1934. Now, the fascinating thing about these two letters is this is when I think the Father Christmas letters are at their absolute height because we're in the midst of a great goblin war. This is absolutely the years in which Father Christmas seems very much like a northern character in Middle Earth. So the letter from uh, 1933, which is beautifully illustrated with the polar bear um, stomping on lots of the uh, goblin attackers, um, talks about how there was almost a disaster that Christmas because the goblins invaded and um, got into the presence. And one of the funny things about it is there's aside from the polar bear um, sort of commenting on what Father Christmas is writing about. And as there's a real sense of drama and there's also humor as ever. Uh, and there's some wonderful things at the end about how um, people might get the wrong presents. So he says, we hope it for, we have got it all sorted out. But if you hear of anyone getting a doll when they wanted an engine, you will know why. I wonder if some of the presents were mixed up in the Tolkien household. As a little joke, we'll have to, I wonder if anybody has recorded that. And my favourite of all detail from the 1933 letter is the mention that um, when the goblins invaded, they had some bat riding goblins who arrived at Father Christmas's window. Sadly, there's no picture of that, but I, I love the idea of these goblins zooming in in their squadrons. Um, that definitely needs a... a an adaptation so we can see what that would look like. So turning now to 1934, what is happening in Father Christmas Land? Well, he starts the letter by saying very little news, which is a relief after all the drama of the previous year. And this centers on a much quieter year for Father Christmas and his plans for a massive party on Boxing Day. And there's a wonderful picture of the Christmas tree and um, which she's put in a pool of ice. I just wanted to pause a little bit and, and talk about Tolkien's drawings. Uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with uh, his wonderful skill as a draftsman, but I love the way he does the night sky. He does it in lines with the stars. Uh, if I can show it to you here. See, he does it with the lines with the stars, beautifully drawn. And um, also we get to see that the polar bear cubs are growing up to be very mischievous and causing a lot of problems for the polar bear. Yes, yeah, so that is, um, peace has broken out in 1934 in Father Christmas Land. What a wonderful thing it must have been in the Tolkien household to anticipate these letters arriving on the doormat. Uh, for me, I think that would have been the best part of Christmas because we're all used to the idea of writing a letter to Father Christmas, but isn't it fantastic when he writes back to you? Part of the um, this series, was, we've been asking people to share a Christmas tradition that they have. And I was thinking what it would be in my household. And the most important tradition for us is around a crib uh, I spent some years working in Poland as a diplomat living in Warsaw. And when my husband and I were there, we used to buy a lot of Polish wood carving. And just as we left, we splurged. We treated ourselves to a very large Christmas crib. It's, you know, it's pretty sizable. And um, all the characters are very, they're beautiful, but they're also full of character. Many of them look very Polish with great big walrus moustaches. And one of the tra traditions we have in the family is around now in the, in the run up to Christmas, we will read the Christmas story and set out the uh, characters arriving one by one um, in, in line with the story. And certainly we used to do that a lot when the children were small and we still even do it now. And then the inevitable arguments about who gets to put in the animals, which were always the, the favorite pieces. So the Christmas, Polish Christmas nativity crib is our 
Christmas tradition I wanted to share with you. Just all that remains to say is Merry Christmas to everybody and hopefully a peaceful new year. <laughs>